So I really want to give you some time to do your work here in class, but let's just do one example of each type we might see. Um, we're, we're spending more time in this lesson. I think tonight's homework are the even problems from the same lesson. Um, I do have all the answers posted on PowerSchool so for the even problems. So please check your work tonight. Uh, make sure you don't make any mistakes like butchering mistakes. Like lots of times students will do stuff like this, like they'll cancel out first, uh, which is a big no-no there. You you can't really do that. In fact, this this fraction bar is really a grouping symbol. I'd really rather you start by like putting parentheses around those. Oh, like I can't cancel, the parentheses don't match. Now we might be able to cancel after we factor. So that's what you should do first. Uh, always factor first. So if you factor that, x and x, let's see, three and one, looks like plus and plus. And this one should be easy to factor down there, difference of squares, x and x, one and one, one's plus, one's minus. And you can see definitely, uh, some of that goes away and you're left with x plus 3 over x plus 1. Again, I always put parentheses around those. I think it's just a good habit to get into. Um, if we wanted to talk about domain, the domain of this function is um, all reals, except there's two excluded values here. So x uh, cannot be uh, negative 1. And x cannot equal positive 1. Because if you look at the two factors in the denominator, Either one of those would make the denominator zero, so it's not part of our domain. Uh, all reals except for that. And here on this one, again, make sure first step, you know, put parentheses around everything that's in a fraction here. So get your start uh, by doing that. Um, and then we're hoping to uh, like cancel some of this if, if some of this factors. So if I factor that first parentheses there on the top left, um, I think it does factor. This would be x and x. I think 3 and 1. Bigger number is positive, so that's negative. I think that works. And I don't think 3x plus 2 actually factors. I'm just going to leave that like that. And the first one on the left there, I think it factors. x and x. I'm going to guess 4 and 4. Plus and plus. And then x minus 1 doesn't really factor. Okay, so uh, you can see that this uh, cancels. That's nice. Oh, that's really it. Uh, so in the numerator, uh, you're going to have x plus 3 times 3x plus 2. Sometimes you get more than just that to cancel. x plus 4. Uh, I would write it this way, x plus 4 squared, uh, rather than x plus 4 times x plus 4. It just seems like an easier way to write it. And you're done. If you wanted to write the domain, the domain is all reals, except x cannot equal, let's see, 1 because of this, uh, or 4, because, negative 4 because of that. So x also cannot equal negative 4 because that would make the denominator 0. So that would be the domain of that function. And finally, our last example, this one is save the best for last. Again, I wanted to make this a short lesson so you have a lot of time to, to work on stuff. Um, this is actually a pretty tough problem um, on a number of levels. Um, the factoring is tough. You get division in there. That's tough. Um, let's just kind of work it and see what happens. So this, this I'm going to factor that top parentheses there. So that actually is a, is a perfect square difference of squares. So that'd be 2y and 2y. Square root of 9 is 3 and 3. So I think this will work. One of those plus, one of those minus. Yeah, that works. Um, this one down here, I'm going to try to factor that. It's not going to be easy. Uh, you might have to use the AC method. I know one of these is going to be 2y, one of these is going to be y. Factors of 18 that add up to 9, but you got to be careful. So this is the kind of thing you could just start guessing and checking. Uh, like I could just plug in a, a 2 and a 9 here and just see if that works. So that would be 2 and 18. That doesn't add up to 9. Maybe if I switched them around. 9 and 4. That, that I don't think uh, 9 and 2 are going to work here. So let's try um, how about 6 and 3. Just trying different numbers. Look at inside, outside. So 6 plus 6 is not 9. That doesn't work. Try it this way. When you guys check, you have to try a bunch of different ways. 3 and 12. 3 and 12 could work, actually. 
Uh, so I think we may have found it here. So <clears throat> I want the bigger number positive. So the 12 is positive. The 3 is negative. I think that works. Whew. Okay. So this big key here is the division sign. So what that means is I'm going to change it to multiplication. And I'm going to flip-flop this second fraction, just the second fra fraction. So I want to put the factors of this guy in the, in the numerator here. So I'm going to put that in the numerator. It's going to be y and y. Factors of negative 6 to add up to 5. I think that would be 6 and 1. Bigger number is positive, so I think that works. This guy is going to go in the denominator. So again, I've got another kind of guess and check factoring. I'm going to do AC just so you remember how to do that. So if you do the AC method for that one, um, it's going to be A times C is negative 6. So factors of negative 6 would be 1 and 6 or 2 and 3. Which one add up to make a positive 1? I think uh, if this is negative, that could work. So to take that 2y squared, instead of plus y, I'm splitting it up into two terms using these two. So it would be minus 2y plus 3y minus 3. Now I'm going to do the, uh, the grouping here. So group the first two terms, group the next two terms, pull out the GCF, which is 2y times y minus 1 plus 3 times y minus 1. Because those match, I know it worked. I'm going to regroup them. In fact, I'll just do it over here. So it'll be y minus 1 is one of them. What's left over? The 2y plus 3. 2y plus 3. Okay, so let's see what cancels here. This should be fun. Okay, I told you the best problem for last. 2y plus 3. 2y plus 3. That's nice. 2y minus 3. 2y minus 3. That's really nice, actually. Um, let's see what else we got to cancel. Uh, y minus 1. Y minus 1 y plus 6, y plus 6. Oh my goodness, everything cancels. By the way, when you cancel, you leave a 1 behind. So this would be 1 divided by 1 or 1. The answer is actually 1. After all that work, wow, you get an answer 1. I told you it's a pretty amazing problem. So you got to factor first. Again, make sure to, uh, when you see uh, this division right there, you've got to flip the fraction, right? So I, I, I flip the fraction you're dividing by. Uh, that's a really important step there. Uh, this is just to refresh you. I want to give you a lot of time during this lesson to go ahead and do the work. Uh, do the even problems now and check your answers in the, in the uh, I have it posted on PowerSchool. So thanks.